getting these two spooky Disney perler beads, multi beads, little sets. Um, so these are just kind of like the cheap like multi beads. I think they were like one dollar a set at five below. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check these out. We're gonna make the stitch and ghost one first. So we'll move this one off to the side. We'll crack into this. Take a look at what's in here. So we do have our like, regular instructions. We know how to do these. We've got a little tiny ironing paper, which we are definitely not using. And then here's our little instruction uh, like design. We've got our ghost on this side and our stitch on this side. Our little tiny pegboard, which again, not going to be using. I'm going to try and make both projects on one of these bigger squares that I have. And then here's our little beads as well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and just get making. So I did end up making most of these projects off camera, but I did record a little bit of my process at the beginning and end of each project. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. I thought they ended up turning out really cute. So we're going to check out the Nightmare Before Christmas one next. This one we can make Jack and Sally. And again, I'm not going to use the smaller pegboard. I'm going to use this bigger one. Make both projects at the same time. So let's crack this one open as well. And take another look. So we've got our uh, regular instructions. And then our little tiny paper. We've got our patterns right here. We've got our tiny, tiny square pegboard. And our little bag of beads. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started on making everything. Again, I did very little filming for this set, but I thought they turned out absolutely adorable. And beads weren't even that bad of quality either. I was very impressed. And I just think the projects turned out absolutely adorable. Alright guys, everything is ironed. Let's take a closer look at our new projects. So first we've got our little ghost and our stitch. So cute, although I don't know why the stitch is purple, but I am digging the color scheme, honestly. I really think they turned out amazing for how much I paid for them. But also here is our Sally and our Jack. And look at how good they turned out as well. I probably could have ironed this one a little bit more, but I honestly, I think they both turned out amazing though. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you in another video soon. Bye!